Hey, welcome back to Real Talk with Rajan. I am your host, Rajan Lewis. And here today with me, I have Tremaine Songster Hopkins. Yeah. Who, who I'm very excited. So thank you so much for joining me, yes, man. Sir, I really appreciate me. it. Thank you so much. So for those who don't know, Tremaine is a phenomenal vocalist. If not the best vocalist in the Charleston area, top five. I, and, and I dare you, I dare you to challenge me on that. I'm going to pause on that real quick. <laughs> All right? The dude is dope. He's a great vocalist. He's an even better person. Um, I've, I've known him for quite some time. I think when I met him formally, he was like 12 or 13. And um, I, we came to your your Christmas single release. Rajon. Rajon, <laughs> I just looked young. I was not 12. How, how old were you? I was maybe 20. You, you were not 20. Yes, I was. I you were not 20. I was old. How old are you now? 25. You're 20. No, so no, I'm not it was really, it was, it was it was, way it was, back. It was, it was, I probably was. 18 or 19. Okay, yeah. Probably so you're, you're really like young. You're really young. 13 years. I just yeah. remember. I remember we were at um the church on right off of um Rivers Avenue. On Helm Avenue. Uh-huh. Helm Avenue, yeah. And yep. they, we, we looked at, it turned out they're like, this guy, we're out here to support this guy who's got this um project coming out. And they put the music on, and I'm like, I have never heard anything like that before. One, your voice was dumb high. Like, even, like, your voice is high now, but your voice was dumb, like, just your natural voice was dumb high. <laughs> So I was yeah. like, that's crazy. Like I so you got up and you started singing and I was like, that's amazing. Like I straight up was like, that's that's amazing. And thank God, you know, we were able to minister together for a few yeah. years with, with namesake and mm-hmm. you know the, awesome. the, the opportunities we had to, to get to get to know each other and talk and yes. and, and build has been amazing. So it's been amazing. now that I've talked about you, tell the people who you are. Well, I am Tremaine, as he said. I'm 25 years old. Um Well, it's not a, it's not really a lot. We, we want to talk about this music. Uh-huh. Um, but tell me about it. But I've been, I've been singing for um, since I've been three years old. And um, my favorite artist is Brandy, Karen mm-hmm. Shea, Smokey Norfolk, Jim. I, there's a host. There's a host of people that I love. Um, yeah, I just, I just love gospel music. My roots are really grounded in R&B. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just love singing for Christ, you mm-hmm. know. Um, I'm very inspirational. So because I'm inspiration, I like to sing from yeah. that yeah. type of vein. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm very caring. I'm loving. I'm sensitive. Mm-hmm. I'm smart mouth. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I love people. <laughs> I'm very compassionate. Stuff like that. Um, I'm a puzzle. Uh-huh. 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 So uh-huh. all these pieces, uh-huh. I'm going to be talking all night if I talk. I like it. I like it. I, I, I get them going. So I, I, so yeah, yeah, like, but, but not only do you sing, but I, I grew up singing with your sister, mm-hmm. with Mandy. Right. So like when I heard Mandy had a brother that sang, I was like, he must be a beast. Can I not? I, I don't want to forget that. Dude. So, Amanda Hopkins, the greatest vocal influence. I'm, uh, yeah, the my greatest. Mandy's dope. Greatest, like the first person that I've ever heard sing. And I just gravitated towards her, yeah. listened to her, picked up on a lot, you know, and I still live by, you're not as great as the teacher. Wow. So, wow. That's those awesome. are great words. No overrating. Yeah. It no, is what it is. I remember me and Mandy worked at Taco Bell together, went to North Charleston High together, and we used to sing, like, we used to sing all the time at Taco Bell. We had to sing in this Taco Bell in the history of the world. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that they had not have Taco Bell that had more music than the one that we worked at. So, like I said, you know, just from knowing your roots, if you know Mandy, if you know Tremaine, you know music is like in their DNA. And I, and I, again, I can't state enough. And again, it's not me, you know, just just sugarcoating something. Like the kid is amazing. He's, I call him kid, he's, he's 25. I'm 36, but you know. Um, I grew up a little bit. <laughs> he, he, he's, he's a, but he's an amazing artist. And not only is he an amazing artist, um, he's a really great person. Um, he's a really great person. So. I want you to talk about, because let's get into a few topics when it comes to um, this thing that is gospel music. Um, why gospel music? You say your roots are in R&B. Why sing gospel? Well, gospel music, you can always cross mm. with it. And I think that one of the greatest things as far as music, um, because music makes the world go around, is the love. Mm-hmm. Um, so many different things go into music you know, so many different topics, but I think the greatest topic of all is love. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody kind of pulls and gravitates towards what makes them feel good. Mm -hmm. Um, And if you heard what I said earlier about the the inspirational side of it, 
Um, not all the time do I feel like gospel music should be about Jesus, 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 you know, God and mm -hmm. Savior and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But just as far as reaching somebody in, in like in their depths, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, deep down. So what I like about gospel music is the fact that it, it can reach on every level. You know, yeah. you can you can talk about hurt and yeah. not have to really dig down deep. Yeah. Like in the yeah. R&B world. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. it just all puts you in a in a feeling. Yes. It, it, it gives a feeling. It yes. paints a picture. Yes. Um, and simply because of the background, the background of gospel music, it it sets its own yeah. standard. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, gospel music is a feeling music. Right. Like it's 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 more even more so, especially when you the direct that is R&B music these days. Um, it's it's the place you go to when you need to feel something. Right. And right. when you have, as an artist, can make somebody feel something, that's always an amazing yeah. thing. And gospel music is definitely that place to go to. And um, if you've ever heard him minister live, and I, I'll say minister, heard him minister live, then you know that feeling that he, that he invokes when he ministers. So gospel music, yes, you, you're, you're on it. So I, I hear a little bit, maybe you, you may be branching out a little bit, further on later on is that something you aspire to do one day what do you mean Brad? like as far as like going beyond like like going like how molly music sort is doing the gospel thing when he's also yeah. got his like contemporary Absolutely. thing i i don't think i would be one of those straight out gospel mm -hmm. artists you know it, it's like finding my niche mm -hmm. simply because my honestly my voice is r&b mm. my voice is r&b I, I, I have a little gospel in it mm -hmm. but yeah, that that crossover type sound, mm -hmm. I would definitely. That's that's actually where I'm, where I'm headed, yeah. where I'm going. And when I listen to your production, I, I do hear a lot of like R and B influence, mm -hmm. more R and B influence than gospel. You know, than than gospel, yep. strict gospel. And you need that. There's a place for that. You know, you 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 know me. I'm not like you know. When I got into the church, I wasn't like the the holy roly right. guy. You know, I, I'm I'm the guy that you know grew up in the hood is just happy to sing. You know, and and and. And so my influences were hip hop and R&B. So when I came, I think that's why we clicked so much because it was like, okay, yeah, I, I don't do it the way they do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, know right. what I mean? you don't do it the way they do it. And I can appreciate that. I have a great, a great, um, can, he, can he sing? I'm going to, I'm going to ask him to sing. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to ask him to sing. What's up, Karen? Kim? Uh, so this is my, this is my, this is my, my aunt from uh, Florence, from Florida. She hey, auntie from Florida. So you might be able to set up some kind of, might be trying to set, up, set you up a Y'all do that gig. now. Y'all watching, y'all want me to come, y'all, y'all. So, yeah, do that. so they gonna they gonna want you to they gonna want you to sing they gonna want you to sing, okay. so you gonna have to sing at the end, at the end. Will you do that? We'll work something. All right, cool. All right, cool. So so Karen Karen Edie, what did, we got to get you in here too, Karen? Because you Karen a beast, Edie is a beast. <laughs> listen, yo, listen. I'm telling you, we got, we can do a whole show of just gospel artists. I'm telling you, Shay Harris says she misses you, Tremaine. By the way, all right. So hey hey, hey. <laughs> keeping it rolling, keeping it rolling. Um. So let's talk about the event you have coming up. Okay. All right. So so the event that you have coming up. Let's let's talk a little about that. What give give the people the details. All right. So y'all listen real clearly now. Get your pens and your paper, get your phones out, go to your notes. April 7th, 2018, at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Doors open at 5 30. All right. 4870 Piedmont Drive in Ferndale. No Charleston, matter of fact. Y'all know what Liberty Hill is. That's easy to find. The Harvest Point Event Center. Mm -hmm. So what's going to be happening? What's going on? So here's the thing. It's, it's a two-in-one. There's going to be rebranding. Not that the brand was bad. You know, you just enter into different places of your musical journey. Um, you want to change up the look. You want to change out what you're presenting, change up the sound, stuff like that. And then we have um, the launching of a tour. The tour is going to be called Titled Sign. Mm -hmm. um, and whether it's from Sony down to Malico Records, Tremaine Hopkins Ministries are, is, is going out on tour to be signed mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's the major part of it. Um, yeah, we have Jennifer John from Albany, Georgia, mm -hmm. coming to open up. If y'all do, if y'all have not heard her, please check her out. It's Jen Jennifer John. We're gonna have Ivory Collins, Charles, one of Charleston's own, mm -hmm. Charles, one of Charleston's favorites. Mm -hmm. um, she has a new single out as well called First Exit Out, and I'm glad that's that's a person that I'm working with mm -hmm. right now in this in this journey. It's been amazing. Um, I want to talk a little more about that later. Yes. Um, and um, yeah, that's basically basically kind of not it 
but that's it in a in a nutshell. Did I miss anything? No. Nah, so what's the vibe? What's going to be the, the vibe? vibe? Yeah. It's the vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I S S A. Right. I S S A. So hashtag I S S A vibe. So yeah, it's it's the the music is just going to totally be different from anything that I have been trying to do in the past. And it, it kind of represents my foundation. Mm -hmm. So it's, it, it, there is going to be a lot of um, R and B type mm -hmm. musical mm -hmm. vibes and feelings. A lot mm -hmm. of things that you can um, sway to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But it's not going to be too far out of, I don't know that this is gospel mm -hmm. music. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. yeah, going going forward with the the type of music that you're going to hear yeah. from me. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome. So, so we got we got you said Ivory Collins, Ivory Collins. You have Jennifer Johns, Jennifer Johns. All right, any other local that's, artists coming out? That's it. That's that's the swag. That's All right, that's the vibe. So, a secret. This might be a secret. I don't know. I hope he gonna come. Mm -hmm. But I'm supposed to have a feature a with Kelante Gavin. Kelante so, Gavin. Kilante, when Shout you see this, or if you ever come on this channel now, don't disappoint me. I'm looking for your face. I'm going to tag him. The people already know. Dale. So Dale Smalls. You got to be there. Get him there. Yeah, daddy. <laughs> you got to get him there. Because I done told these people now. All right. right now. Kilante, hey, you got to come back from the A. Yeah. You got to come back and, 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 and hang out with us Chucktown folk for a little bit. For the, for the Tremaine yeah. Hopkins event, because it's a vibe. Hashtag it's a vibe. Get that out there. Let's get that trending. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so you said you wanted to talk more about the the Jennifer John thing. You said there's something you wanted to go on. No, the um, my this new connection. Okay, new connection. Know, All right. New connections. Um, yeah, and it just so happened that I during this musical journey is with Ivory Collins, mm -hmm. you know, and we're both a part of the key of C. Um, artist development agency, in which the the founder and the management is Cedric Holmes. Um, so yeah, we have been working on very you know d new and different things. I know a lot of people have heard Ivory in the past, and I really want y'all. First of all, let me say this: her single, it it is going to be uploaded. I really want y'all to hear it. It's actually a very groovy song. What's it called? It's called First Exit Out. All right. Um, very different, um, very catchy, and oh my gosh, a vocally, like, I heard the song one time and I fell in love, and I mm -hmm. like, you know, you hear a lot of people exaggerate mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, mm -hmm. but literally, I listened to the song one time, and it's like she gives everything that you would want a vocalist to give Indeed. on the song, like, it's, it's, it's painted so well, so yeah, um, yeah, there's a there's a whole lot of new things um, coming up um, for us as a a partnership, uh, along with the other a lot of different other artists mm -hmm. that are going to come and join this train. But yeah, the whole thing from from here on out, it's a vibe. It's a vibe all the way it's through. It's definitely and, and it's definitely a vibe, like the a whole different vibe. I love that. I love that, and I love I love the way you're going about it. Um, you know, dare to be different. Yeah. You know, if you, you, I was just saying the other day on, on my, one of my videos is, um, so many people want to be copies of other people, but you know, to be a one of one is, 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 is really what you're called to be. Yeah. God made you individual. God made you special. God made you perfect just the way you are. Yes, sir. So you want to go out there and be a vibe. If yeah, you want to be, if you want to be a vibe, be your be own vibe. Exactly. Yeah, be a yeah, good vibe. Yeah. So, as well. so, so you don't see yourself like in the future becoming a preacher or, or anything like that. Honestly, I know that music is just my my baby mm. at this point. There's a preacher on the inside of me. Mm. Mm. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I I I honestly have accepted, you know, that I may not be um one of the world's greatest singers, you know, or you know, Stuff like that. But I have accepted that I have to preach mm. God's word. Mm. And um, my whole mission, even within within my singing ministry, is to set the captives free. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah. And that's always been my mission. And that's always what I've been about whenever I delivered mm -hmm. anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, man, I singing will still be around, but I, I, I definitely do know that 
I don't have just a word. Mm-hmm. I have lives. I mm-hmm. have nations yeah. on the inside yeah. of me. So that's definitely going to be wow. something that I tread towards. That's amazing. That's amazing. So April 7th, 6.30. 5.30, the doors open. open. Doors open six at 5.30. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. It's starting. Jennifer John is going to be up at 6 o'clock, probably like 6.15, 6.20. I'm going to be up. Wow. So this is only going to last for an hour and a half, two hours, two hours tops. Mm-hmm. So y'all really going to have to be there at six o'clock. Yeah. And my bro, my bro is emceeing. That's it right there. My bro is emceeing. Jonathan Simmons is going to be the MC. Such an, an incredible pastor. Well, and the, this brother. church is in Grace, Grace to Glory, Grace in, to Glory. in Columbia, South Amen. Carolina. So y'all in Columbia, those of you watching in that area, y'all go check it out. But yeah. How can I forget that, John? Please forgive me. He's good. I got you. Um, yeah, thank you for saying that. No problem. No problem. Yeah. I, I I do my research, man. I got this. <laughs> I do my research, man. I'm, a, I'm a sort of a professional here. Man. I do this. <laughs> but um, April 7th, man, make sure you get out there. Show your love. Show your respect. Listen, we go out and we buy every artist that comes from other areas. We go out and we we go to everybody concert. I know Beyonce just put tickets on sale for like $350 and people trying to get to Columbia, people selling babies and stuff, trying to get to Columbia. This young man will be in North Charleston. He will be in North Charleston. He's one of our own. He will be on that big screen one day. And you don't want to say, oh, well, he was right down the street and I didn't want to see him. All right? Don't be the, don't be that person. Don't be that person. Don't be that person, y'all. All right? It's like you're watching Real Talk with Rajan. I'm doing this with, with – I started with three viewers up to 15. I'm going to keep moving until I'm at 1 million. That's how we do it, man. Yes, it's man. a vibe. Yeah. It's a vibe. I learned that today. I love that. All right? So April 7th, be there. 5.30, doors open, 6 o'clock, they're going to start singing. You want to be there. You want to be there. You want to be there. The project. We got to talk about the project. Okay. What, right. When is that coming out? So we're going to shoot for by the end of this year. All right. By the end so of this everything, year. Everything is, is, is a work in progress. Right. Like, so are you going to release a single that night or no? Actually, I am going to release a single. Unfortunately, there will not be any hard copies. Okay. Um, probably later on in the month, there's going to be some hard copies available. But definitely... Like this, this single right here, I believe that it's going, it's going to take me. So that's also something involved with the Key of C Artist Development Agency. That song was written by Cedric Holmes, maybe by, possibly like three years ago. So we had, we just dug it on up and we brought it to life. Mm-hmm. So yeah, man, we, we, it's about to be lit. Awesome. It's a, definitely a vibe. Awesome. I love it, man. And I, and along the way, anytime you want to come back on Real Talk with Rajan and do an interview to talk about what's going on, man, I love, I'd love to come out and, and do what I can do to support you. April 7th, April 7th, April 7th. Be there, be there, be there. I should be able to ro- roll through. Is there an entrance, entrance fee? No. Free admission. Free admission. But even if you are running right now, um, Tremaine, at, well, the dollar sign, Tremaine A. Hopkins on Cash App, if you're not going to make it. Y'all can definitely cash at me. Yeah, send them so, a donation. Show no, some no donation is too small and none is too big. Amen. Amen. So if you had a million dollar donation, you want to send him, just send it to me and I'm gonna get it to him. Cause that, you know, where my bank account works, I gotta I gotta check in and savings. Yeah, y'all know the joke. Anyway. So I got one more thing. So even with the tour for you guys that are in, are interested in bringing me to your city, you can um hit me up on my email. I'm at HopkinsTremaine12 at gmail.com. It does not have to be in South Carolina. We trying to go all over. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, let me know. If you, and definitely come to this event on the 7th so that you can see what we're going to be bringing to the tour. Yeah, yeah. So Love it, yeah. love it, love it. And it's going to be you, Ivory, and, Jess, and Jennifer. Well, Hunter? I know definitely it's going to be me and Ivory, but each city that we go to, there's – um. Whoever is, and I'm going to use the term popping, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whoever is popping in the city or um, vers- versus like the, the pastor or whoever's facility we're mm-hmm. using, we're going to give them the opportunity to say, hey, we want to headline mm-hmm. such and such okay. along with you. Okay. So, yeah, that's how that's going to work. But definitely is going to be myself and Ivory Collins Brown. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Um, okay. Cool. So they want to know, they, they want you to sing. They they want you to sing. The people want you to sing. So I'm going to need you to sing. I, it, it just even as a little snippet, and then we're going to do your contact information. We're going we're gonna to drop Man, it. what I supposed to sing? Pe- whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever's, whatever the Lord put on. You know, 
namesake taught me you always want to have a song. You on always your heart. got a song. You always gotta have a song your on heart. your heart. What you got? You got fussed at about that. I got a song, but see, I'm not sure if I want to sing the song. All right, you want to do Have You Ever? You, Brandy, hit no, him. Oh, man, I ain't about to I'm sing that. Saying, I'm just saying. Where you, where's John? I got the hearts, the hearts going crazy right now. They, they, I'm just saying. Let me see, let me see, let me I'm see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. See, I hit a little note right there. That should be it. No, no, they, they, they wait, they wait. <laughs> I'm not editing none of this out. <laughs> All is going to be in the YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, you know what? No, they not heard that. I'm not lucky. I'm love. Just just give them something. Just give them something. Y'all just want to hear something. My people in Florida want to hear something. Is it? We have 13 people on here waiting on you. Y'all waiting on me? They, they lie. Y'all waiting on me or an all? That's 14. They're gonna start dropping off if you don't. Say. Okay, okay. So let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Maybe I succeed in a little. Mm, mm, mm. Jump right from the floor to the middle. Mm, mm, mm. You think I want the credit? I don't. Cause that glory, it ain't made for me, no. But I know who sits on the throne, who makes the stage and writes the songs. And I know I could not do this on my own. And as much as I complain, I see more sunshine and rain. That I could thank my lucky stars. But that's not where my blessings are. Don't they come from the Father's heart? Not the sky, not chance, but truth is, I'm not lucky, no. Be there April 7th to hear April the April 7th, yo, 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 yo. I'm sorry, y'all. I got excited. All right. Tremaine Hopkins, April 7th. How can they find you, bro? Y'all can find me at Tremaine Stocks and Hopkins on Facebook, at Trahop on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And at Forever Songster on Twitter. Tremaine Songster Hopkins on YouTube. And then also Tremaine songs to Hopkins on SoundCloud. Word. I release all my covers there. So. Word. Check out his man. Listen, listen, man. Did I did I lie to you? That's all I'm gonna say. Did I lie to you? I didn't lie to you. Okay. Real talk with Rajan. He ain't lied to y'all. I ain't lied to you. I'm telling you, this man's dope. I'm telling you, this man's dope, y'all. Real talk with Rajan, man. Tremaine Hopkins. Thank you again so thank much you, for man, joining for me. I really thank appreciate you, it, man. Y'all know what we do, local celebrity spotlight. We show us shine the light on the people right here doing great things. Make sure you join me Sunday night from 7 until 8 o'clock for Real Talk with Rajan live. You know what we do. You know how we do it. And always remember, if a man doesn't stand for something, he'll fall for anything. That's Real Talk. I'll see you next week. Peace. Yeah. Put your hands together. Yeah. Da -da. Greatly to be praised, all creation magnified his name. Oh, how great is the Lord, he is greatly to be praised, all creation magnified.